So Christina, what are some of the tests and procedures used to diagnose um, ovarian cancer? So there's several different tests. There are some blood tests that we can do. Um, there's a CA125, which is a tumor marker that is used a lot with ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. um, an elevation, and it doesn't really necessarily mean a diagnosis of ovarian cancer. A lot of the times there could be elevations from endometriosis, pelvic inflammatory diseases can cause it as well. So we're not going to automatically assume that because there's an elevated CA125 that there's an ovarian cancer. Right. Normally imaging of some sort, whether it's a pelvic um, or transvaginal ultrasound, a CT scan, a lot of the times there'll be um, our you know, actual diagnosis. Um, surgeries sometimes for the stage one and twos, like I said, mentioned before, incidental findings, a lot of the times we can find them through some surgical procedure that, you know, an appendectomy or somebody was going in for something else and that's where we find the ovarian cancers. Um, but normally it's between CT scans and ultrasounds. Now here's an interesting fact. It recently came out in a study that birth control pills may reduce the risk of ovarian right. cancer. Why is that and how? So the birth control pill, actually, you're getting hormones that are going to prevent ovulation. Right. So if there's less ovulation, there's a less risk for ovarian cancer. So studies have shown that women that actually have children, because mm -hmm. of during the time that they're pregnancy, they're not ovulating. Right. If they're on birth controls, they're not ovulating. So that decreases the risk factors for ovarian cancer. Now, let's switch gears to treatment. We heard, heard earlier in Cynthia's story, she battled ovarian cancer twice, had to have her hysterectomy radiation and chemotherapy. So is this some of the treatments that need to happen for all cases or it's individualized? It's individualized really depending on the stage of the cancer. So stage ones and twos, depending on how localized they are, a lot of the times you can just remove that tumor, remove that ovary, remove that fallopian tube. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes depending on the type of pathology, you may need some chemotherapy, but you can preserve fertility right. by not removing the, the uterus and that other ovary. Stage threes and fours, at this point, you've confined, you've actually spread throughout the abdomen. It is encased the uterus. At that point, a hysterectomy is indicated with chemotherapy. Yeah.